Yo, JD here, Tilda Limus, and as you can see by the video title and thumbnail, this is going to be quite a bit of a different video here today. I absolutely had an amazing time making this video, it was a lot of fun to make, and that leads me to the point of Joe from Beef and Chipmunk, who's another big F1 YouTuber, very creative, unique, makes absolutely hilarious videos. He helped compile this video for me, because I use Movie Maker, he uses Sony Vegas, so I can't put two clips together in one clip. So I sent him my footage and he compiled it for me. He took the time out of his day to do it. So I really, really appreciate that. Please subscribe to him if you haven't already. Uh, but moving back to the video itself. Um, this video is just, I'm just hoping it can be informative, useful. Uh, people could take something away from it. I had quite a big demand for it. Uh, so I thought I'd show you guys. And before starting the video, I'll be showing you my controls I use. Uh, I use the preset one, which is the completely default setting. I don't use any, I don't change anything. I don't change any of the button layout or make it customizable for me. I always have it on this setting. I've had it on this setting for every F1 game I played, actually. So there's your answer to that question there. I'll be doing a free lap race today around China. Uh, the reason why I chose China because it's a pretty big track on using a hand. And as you can see, we have a pad cam in the top left corner and I've never done a video like this and I'm just hoping it it satisfies you guys the guys who wanted to see it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video so I can make more of these and away we go uh, right now so as you can see I'm trying to be very smooth control I use my right hand to change the fuel mixture so whenever I am deciding to change fuel into lean rich you'll be seeing this throughout the video I always use my right hand because I like to keep my left thumb on the control at all times just to keep complete control and as you can see there I'm changing it again. A for gear up as you saw in the settings and X for gear down. And um, all I can say really is that you can look at the, the cam in the top left as I'm going through the corners you can see especially through this corner here as I'm changing as I'm steering so I lean the controller towards me use my right thumb to change it. I like resting my thumb there as you may notice. I just like resting it in there before I change gear again. And this is just something that just takes practice. You're not going to be able to, if you haven't done this before, use this kind of technique. It's uh, quite difficult to use. I didn't actually start using it myself till about the second week into the game. Because I always used to use a uh, fuel, rich fuel mixture in the race pretty much. So. This is something I picked up myself, and I know quite a few other drivers do it as well. It's just something that takes repetition to get used to. And as you can see, we're in sync with the video, just to <laughs> confirm that I'm not <laughs> making this up or pretending or something like that. We, we, this is actually a live feed, a real-time feed of um, me on me and the controls. And um, as you can see, we're just changing down the fuel mixtures again. And you can just see people say I'm quite smooth on the actual stick and you should be able to see that if you look closely it's I don't I try not to really move it as much as possible I just try and keep control nice and still and just very relaxed in what I do and I, I just take my time things really and as I change the fuel mixture again it's just uh, something I've always done really I've just been quite always quite relaxed never trying to make things uh, too difficult for myself and um, this is just something that you you just have to do yourself really it's because I don't look at the controls I don't look at my hands this is just something that you just program into yourself and through doing many laps and playing really good players I think the number one thing in improving yourself is just to play better players than you and that's how I improved by playing the likes of x G and Noble. When I first got into league racing, they were a lot quicker than me at the time. And through just gen uh, gradually getting closer and closer to their times and eventually actually starting to beat them, you just gain that confidence. And I think that's what it is at the end of the day. It's just down to just your uh, self-confidence and just time, patience and just experience on the game, really, which is always down to. And as you can see... <laughs> going down the gears again very very busy on the controller and this is a really really good lap for me I've, this is actually my first time using my uh, new TV the two, uh, new monitor in fact and we managed to do a 36-1 and that's without DRS 
and my pole time in AOR was a 35.7. So we're only four tenths off without DRS. Uh, <laughs> and arguably more, more fuel as well. So that's, um, I'm feeling really, really comfortable with this uh, monitor at the moment. It just seems to react a lot quicker to what I do. The response time is, um, or is, is a lot lower and it just, there's no, there's not really that much input lag. Whatever I do on a controller, as you can see through the cam, uh, it's reacting to the actual uh, gameplay itself. So that's really, really good news. I can't wait till I actually start league racing properly with it. It should be really good. I don't think I'll really go any faster, but I think I'll definitely be a lot more consistent. But for this video, just my general tips is that hopefully by you looking at how I hold a controller, how I position my hands, my fingers, um, where I change gear, uh, how I change the fuel mixture, which I think is quite important. It's quite difficult to see how I'm braking and triggers, but you can see that I'm quite smooth on the brake and on the throttle as well. I don't just yank it down. And also for the steering, I'm generally quite smooth. As again, we're just making sure that we're perfectly in sync with the video, which we are. And um, hopefully this is something that you can take away from. Uh, if you do like it, just make sure to give it a thumbs up. So I could potentially make it into a series. I could maybe do it for each track. But as always, thank you for watching. Hopefully it's been useful to you. And cheers for watching. See you there.